we must never forget our foundation. Our foundation is the Lord Jesus Christ himself. He is the one that left all his glory in heaven, came to earth, became a man, so that he can turn all of us who are sons of men to become the sons of God. He is the one that paid the ultimate sacrifice. He died because of our sins. We thank God because he rose again to justify us. Good morning. You are welcome to I Prevail with Joseph Adenuga. As usual, God has put a word in my mouth this morning to speak to you, to encourage you, to inspire you, and to motivate you. And this morning I pray that the glory of God will shine in your life. God Almighty will show you the way. You will not be stranded. God will give you the wisdom to know what to do at every point in time. In Jesus' mighty name I pray. Amen. Today I just want to remind you that our Lord Jesus Christ came so that he can set the captive free. 1 John chapter 3, verse 8, the Bible says, The devil sinned from the beginning. For this reason, the Son of God was manifested that he might destroy the works of the devil. Jesus Christ came to our lives, to our world, to destroy the works of the devil. And the works of the devil began from sin. Sin is an acronym for Satan Identification Number. S stands for Satan. I stands for Identification and N stand for number. So when we sin, we are, you know, using the emblem of Satan. But Jesus came, came to destroy sin. And the only way Jesus can destroy sin in your life and my life is when we give our lives to Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior. The Bible says, if you believe in your heart that Jesus Christ is Lord, and you proclaim with your mouth that God has raised him from the dead, you shall be saved. Your sins shall be forgiven. You see, you shall become a new creature. You shall become born again. We became born again only because we received Jesus. First, I mean, John chapter 1 verse 12 says, As many as received him, to them he gave power to become the sons of God. John chapter 3, verse 16. For God so loved the world that anyone who believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. The Bible says that anyone that calls upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. He said they look unto him and they were not ashamed. You see, the name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run therein and is saved. When we believe Jesus and we receive him into our life, as our Lord and Savior, we become born again. And from that day, the Spirit of God begins to live in us. When we receive Jesus, the Spirit, we are brought into the kingdom of God by the Holy Spirit. And from that day forward, we don't want to sin again. We begin to hate sin because we are born again, because we are children of God. We have a new nature now. We have a new spiritual orientation. Those things we like to do before, we don't want to do them anymore. Because now, we are, we are no longer in the kingdom of darkness. Those things that we used to do and we are not ashamed. We are not afraid. We are not feeling guilty. Now that we are born again because we are children of God, we are ashamed. We feel guilty to do such things. Because we know it is no longer we that live, but Christ that lives in us. The Christ that lives in us makes us to feel guilty anytime we fall into sin. And so when we fall into sin, because we are born again, we know we don't have fellowship with God again. Something became wrong. We don't feel good anymore until we go and say, God, I am sorry. And Jesus will forgive us again. Remember, 1 John chapter 2 from verse 1. He said, These things I write unto you that believe that you sin not. But if any man sin, we have an advocate with the Father, 
Jesus Christ, the righteous one, and he is a propitiation for our sins. That's the King James translation. God is writing, he gave us the Bible so that we don't fall into sin. If you are born again, you have the Bible. The Bible is an instruction manual that guides us to live a holy life. It guides us to live so that we don't fall into sin. But it says, if any of us fall into sin, Jesus Christ, the righteous one, is still praying for us. We still have an advocate. No matter the kind of sin you have committed after you give your life to Jesus, if you ask him to forgive you, he is still faithful and just to forgive you and to cleanse you. When you ask him to forgive you, he will not only forgive you, he will cleanse you so that you don't sin again. But you have a responsibility to repent of that sin, to turn away from that sin. And you have a responsibility not to continue in that sin. You see, this is the word of God. And this is what God put in my mouth this morning to speak to you. If you are not born again, your entire nature is the nature of sin. You need to accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior. You need to receive him into your heart. You need to believe that he is the Lord. You need to confess that he died and rose again to justify you. When you do that, you will become born again. You will become a new creature. All things will be passed away. Hallelujah. And so from that time on, you will live a life of holiness because you will want to please God. You will love Jesus so much that you will not want to sin against him. So if you have not given your life to Jesus today, can be your best day. We don't know what may happen tomorrow. If you die without knowing Jesus, I'm sorry to say to you, but it is the truth. You are going to hell. But if you receive Jesus as your Lord and Savior right now, even if you die now, because we will all die one day, no matter how long we live, we will die. When we die, we know where we are going. We know we are going to rest with God in heaven. Think about it. This is the word God put in my mouth this morning. Thank you for listening. Please rebroadcast this to your friends and loved ones. And if you love this message, somebody rebroadcasted this to you, and you want to hear this every day, just save my number. My number is plus two seven seven four zero three zero two three eight one. Save it with I prevail. Go to your WhatsApp and locate me that I prevail and send me a, a message and let the message be add me. I will add you and begin to send this to you from tomorrow. And if you want to be our partner, you can just contact that number. Just say, see it. I will tell you how you can remit your seat to us. Thank you so much. God bless you. I appreciate you. It is well with your soul. May you go from strength to strength in Zion. In Jesus' name. This is your brother, your friend, your pastor, Joseph Adenuga, signing out this morning as usual and saying to you, be blessed and remain blessed.